Hey everyone. So I'm going to try this again. I filmed one video, but my camera just kept focusing in and out, and it gave me a headache. So I'm going to move some stuff away so it doesn't want to try to focus in on anything else. Alright, so I'm going to uh, do some flood coating today with the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. And this is from Stone Coat Countertops. Awesome stuff. Uh, zero VOCs. Uh, your work time is 45 minutes to an hour. It has UV inhibitors so your resin won't be yellowing from the sunlight. But I've already mixed up um, two, cu two cups of resin. I have quite a few paintings I'm resining today. So I thought I would bring you along for a few. And if you have questions, you can leave them below in the comments or send them to me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Okay, I think it's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on here. And that's about a little over half a cup. But I like my first coat thick, and I always do two coats on canvas. Sometimes your edges um, don't come out. So um, most of you have ordered your stone coat, and I had a lot of questions on when I was going to do a video again to show how I'm using it. So this is why I'm doing this video today. Um, this is just equal parts mixed, and I stirred for about two and a half minutes. It should be clear when you get to stirring, so just remember that. If you still see strands of resin in there as you're stirring, keep stirring. I always tell everybody, if you think you've stirred it enough, stir it a little bit more. <laughs> stir till your arm hurts. That's what I always do. Okay. So that's on there. Nice and smooth. And I'm going to use a heat gun to pop the air bubbles. goes my camera again. It's got to be this. Nope. Trying to get it to stop. Because the last video, that's what it did through the whole video. And it's doing it again. I don't know what it's focusing in on. Let's try this again. I think I'm going to go back to filming with my iPad. The webcam's good for our Monday Night Lives, but the iPad doesn't do that to me. I just hate the microphone attached to me. When I tried a cordless microphone, but it cuts out, so I don't know. I guess I need to look into some studio equipment when I can afford it. Okay, I got one resistant spot here from the silicone. I'm going to go ahead and rub that really well, but we will fix that on the second coat. Get some puzzles out. No matter how hard you try, you're going to get a fuzzy. <laughs> can't get it with your tweezers, you can always move it with your gloves. It'll level itself back up. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I'll put her in the bun rack. And I'll grab another one.
have this one. And do this one now. I'll have a, I should have enough left over to do these four tiles I have sitting in front of me. The nice thing with the stone coat is it's heat resistant to 475 degrees, so the tiles are great. I um, As soon as I got the stone coat, I did a tile and sent it to my mom because the uh, other Envirotex I was using, her coffee cup was sticking. Even though I cured it for 30 days before I gave it to her, so. And she let me know yesterday that her coffee cup is no longer sticking. So yay for that. It's good to know that we can get a resin that works for our coasters. If you have not ordered the Stone Coat Art Coat yet, um, I have a coat available to get $30 off an $80 order. So if you buy the half gallon kit and pick out two metallic powders, you'll get $30 off at checkout. But make sure you put the powder in the cart before you check out so the code will work. All the links are below for that. The heat gun I'm using is available in my Amazon shop, which has an adjustable um, heat, and I have it turned up to about halfway, and I'm running it on high. gotten all the silicone off. I sometimes, and no matter how many times I clean them, I still have to do a second coat. I'm going to go ahead and throw some gloves on. I didn't want to get resin on my sheet trays that go in my bun pan, my bun rack, so I always take my gloves off before I put them in. rub it on with my hands to make sure I got all my edges really well. So these will be ready to use. Um, I would wait at least a week and longer. The resin will be cured in 72 hours, but um, 
if you're going to put hot stuff on, I would wait at least, at least a week. These are going to go in my Etsy shop for Christmas gifts, probably the 1st of November. So they'll have plenty of time to cure before that. Hoping I can get away with one coat on these. You gotta be careful when you're cleaning your tiles too because the paint will come off on the edges. So just be gentle. Um, I know when I go with the alcohol rag, I'm really careful, but you gotta get these sides somehow, right? I had a lot of people ask me how I keep the paint on the tile. I haven't had a problem with it coming off. I do clean them with alcohol before I pour paint on them, so that might make a difference, I don't know. But I do let them cure for at least two weeks before I do anything to them, so that might have something to do with it too. I'm a busy girl, so nothing gets touched for at least two weeks. <laughs> okay, so that's on. Turn my heat gun on and get those done. bought these tweezers because they were so fine pointed that I thought for sure I wouldn't have any issues. There I got it, finally. <laughs> that one looks good. You know, you think you're so careful when you're mixing it. I don't know how I'm happy because then all of a sudden something on there and it's like, oh, there's a fuzzy. beautiful gifts for Christmas and they're all taped off on the back so when I take the tape off I'll put four little felt pads on the corners and they're good to go but being patient and letting them cure um, cleaning them properly before you resin them it all pays off in the long run you save yourself a lot of heartache Things don't turn out as planned. And I get them up close enough here, I can see what the angle of the light. <laughs> it's 
So if you're going to order Stone Coat, use the code CWA at checkout. Make sure you get your $80 in there before you put the code in. Um, I did get some new powders from them yesterday. I'll show them to you. They're gorgeous. So this is their Mystic Moss. It's a beautiful color. And this is the Cobalt Blue Metallic, also known as, I think, Crater Lake. Yeah, Crater Lake. Gorgeous colors. So I can't wait to try those. And I'm going to move these. I think I will do those necklaces that I have left. So if you want to stick around and watch that, you're more than welcome to. It's finding a place to put everything when you resin. <laughs> don't put in my bun rack. Normally I'd have that all wrapped up with press and seal or something, but I have a bunch of pendants here that had skins glued in them that I have not resin yet, so might as well do them. Now the reason I use a box, and I'll show you why, when you lay these they won't be flat because of the bale. So you have to take them off the edge like this. And these have all been cleaned already so these are ready to be fixed. Finished. Okay. I go through a lot of gloves. Buy them in bulk. You're going to be doing resin. <laughs> now when you're doing these necklaces, you have to be extremely careful that you don't get the resin over the side. If you do, you want to clean it up immediately. So when I do the necklaces, I use a uh, stick. I try to just get a little bit on the stick and let it fall in. And you want it just to the point of it getting ready to go over. So you get a tiny little dome effect. It's not easy. A lot of girls, they just glue the glass um, cabochons on and call it a day. But this just makes it look so crystal clear. Over, which is cool. Give myself a little couple 
the tiles, mix them up with some color. But that's all there is to it, guys. And look, I did two paintings and four tiles, ten necklaces with two cups of resin. Don't waste it, that's for sure. I'll find something to pour it on. A lot of times I'll just do something really quick and then I'll walk by something and I'm like, oh, I should have resin that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Order your stone coat. If you have questions, you can email me or leave them below. And um, don't forget to use that code CWA, all in caps, to get $30 off an $80 order. Uh, Sunday night, we're doing a live auction. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We did it a few weeks ago, and we had a blast, so we're going to do it again. Um, the paintings that will be available are the ones that are in my Etsy shop right now. Um, we're going to pull most of those out and auction those off so we can get some beautiful new ones in there. And Monday nights, we are live every no Monday night at 9 p.m. And join us for that. We do a lot of viewer's choice, let you guys pick what you want to see. And it's fun. We have a blast. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.